Welcome to XM.com for today's market comment by Harald Ambos Pisuros. I'm Cristina Marujas. The US dollar rose sharply against all its major counterparts on Tuesday, extending its gains today, as Fed Governor Waller said that while inflation is within striking distance of their 2% objective, they should not rush into cutting interest rates until it is clear that low inflation is sustained. The probability for a March rate cut dropped to around 65%, while the total number of basis points worth of rate cuts by December was reduced to 155. Still, this suggests there is ample room for further adjustment, and what could pour cold water on investors' aggressive rate cut bets may be today's U.S. retail sales for December. Following the hotter-than-expected CPI numbers for the month, improving consumer demand may translate not only into healthier economic growth, but also into concerns about stickier inflation in the months to come. This could prompt the investors to further lift their implied rate path, which could in turn help the dollar extend its recovery. The pound suffered against the dollar yesterday after data showed that UK wages slowed in the three months to November. That said, the currency entered a recovery mode today as the CPI figures for December came in hotter than expected, confirming the upside risks suggested by the service's PMI for the month. With headline inflation being double the Bank of England's 2% objective and the core rate holding at 5.1%, the probability for a May rate cut dropped to 55%. Expectations that the Bank of England will begin its own rate reduction process after the Fed does may help pound dollar recover some of the recently lost ground, but the pound will be put to another test this week as UK retail sales for December are coming out on Friday. The yen was among the main losers yesterday as reduced Fed rate cut bets and increasing expectations that the Bank of Japan is in no rush to take interest rates out of negative territory are resulting in widening yield differentials between the United States and Japan. The euro traded on the back foot after opposing comments by several European Central Bank members regarding rate cuts. Euro traders may see clarity from ECB President Lagarde, who today said they will likely cut interest rates by the summer. She is scheduled to speak later in the afternoon as well. On Wall Street, all three of its main indices closed in the red, with the Dow Jones losing the most. The repricing of market expectations regarding the Fed's future course of action appears to be the main drag for equities, and improving retail sales later today may result in further losses. Thanks for watching today's market comment here at XM.com.